Ladies and gentlemen, it has been quite some time since we spoke about Android launches and the new and cool ways that you can make your home screen look like. In today's video, I have for you guys five very different Android launches that are either new or bring something really cool to the table which begs your attention to try them out. If you guys enjoy this video guys, as always, this is Anubhav here. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and press on bell notifications so that you get notified on every future update that we make. With that said, let's not waste any time and let's get into some of the coolest launchers you'll have ever seen yet. Alright guys, the first launcher that I want to bring your attention to that has come a really long way is Ratio by Block. Now, in case you guys want to know more about this, I've actually done a dedicated video on this launcher. Even though that video is probably two years old now, it's still pretty relevant, so you can check that out. But coming back to, you know, this launcher in itself, this will be the most creative and the most different launcher in the list of today's video. And that is because Ratio essentially aims to be a launcher where it minimizes your phone screen usage. So it is aimed at making sure that you don't use your phone a lot and it is the king of productivity launchers. First things first, you'll be able to see that the wallpaper, basically everything in this launcher is monochrome or black and white to make sure that your distractions are reduced. There are no poppy colors or anything of that sort to distract you. Overall, the basic premise of the launcher is to create different categories of applications. So you get to choose your favorite categories that you want to keep on the home screen. You've got a search bar at the bottom where you can search everything from contacts to applications to anything you want. And in these categories, you will have your main applications. You can also see the usage of these applications. So how many minutes have you been using these applications under these particular categories? If you swipe to the left, you get notification center, you get a lot of notifications and a lot of widgets that you can add here. I've added a custom widget, a calculator, a media player and my to-doist widget to make sure that I complete all my tasks. Of course, swiping on the right is going to give you this really cool conversations page, which basically groups all your different conversations from supported messaging applications like, let's say, your text messaging app, WhatsApp, Instagram DMs and puts it all at one place so you can reply to them right from here and you don't have to switch to different applications and essentially go ahead and waste your time. By far, one of the best launchers out there. Be sure to check it out. Moving on guys, at number two, we have Smart Launcher 6. And this is the first time that I'm trying Smart Launcher out. Even though this app is filled with a lot of in-app purchases that you can purchase to upgrade to a lot of extra features, I still feel like the basic application has a lot of good features to make this your Android home screen replacement solution. Overall, uh, the application is pretty similar to AOSP-based launchers like Nova and others, but it's got a couple of cool features like this smart search option where you can search everything from contacts to applications to files, etc, etc. Another cool thing about this is the fact that when you go to the app drawer, all your apps are categorized into this very clean UI. So all your contacts apps are at one place, all your entertainment apps are at one place, all your games are at one place all your media applications, your setting applications, etc. Everything is very nicely and cleanly organized. You also have this cool clock widget that you can configure and uh, you know change the way everything is displayed. Overall, I really like this application because not only do you get the categorization, you also get the customization with home screens per se. So you can add extra home pages, folders, widgets, and you know, like Nova, you can customize the way your home screen looks. And you can also go to each and every settings and change the grid properties, change the icon pack and the icon appearance. A lot of cool features in this application that is a good blend of a stock, let's say, pixel launcher with a couple of extra features. This is something that you can definitely check out. So be sure to check it out. At number three, we've actually got an open source Android launcher, which I know everybody loves to hear in today's day and age because open source apps are, well, amazing. So this launcher, while being a little tricky to pronounce, it's called Kositso. It's a really cool Android launcher because it is one of those search-based Android launchers. So on the home screen, you won't have anything, just a clock widget and a date widget. If you swipe left, right, again, you won't get anything. There's a search widget on the top where, as I said, you can search anything. It's like the pixel search application from the previous video. You also have your app drawer right below it. You can search for different contacts. You can go to favorites and add different pinned items over here as well. And if you swipe from the bottom, 
you get a lot of widgets so you can add and edit widgets over here there's a media widget a weather widget a calendar widget etc etc you can reorganize these widgets and also add different widgets as you can see from other applications as well not just their supported apps this is a really cool launcher once again because it's a little different from the ones that you usually see of course over here as well you can go to icons and you know set different icon pack and go to gestures and add different gestures like double tapping on the screen long pressing swipe left right etc etc and there are also a bunch of integrations as i said with weather and media control you can customize the look and feel a lot of options uh, overall a pretty restrictive launcher when it comes to customization and all of that since you don't really have a home screen layout in it but again if you're looking for a no nonsense launcher where you can just you know get the applications running search for whatever you want and just use your phone less like ratio this is a more toned down version of that so you can be sure to check it out second last android launcher that i want to talk about is square home android launcher now i don't know what this reminds you of but to me it reminds me of the absolutely beautiful launcher experience that all windows phones had back when lumia phones were a thing I remember I had a Nokia Lumia phone don't remember the model exactly but it had a yellow back and I absolutely loved the UI say what you will their home screen launcher system was truly perfect now this brings that same experience to android you can see you've got all the animations the animations is just so clean you can swipe out on the home screen and set up different pages different layouts uh, you can customize uh, the effect of the different tiles you can also set different sorts of effects like if you go to the home options we can set the behavior of the ui you can set the live tile and you know get basically notifications as well you can also add icon packs and stuff which is really cool since this is a different kind of application so if you're a fan of the windows aesthetic be sure to check it out all right ladies and gentlemen last but not the least we have nova launcher but don't worry this is not the same nova launcher that you get on the google play store this is the latest nova beta which is nova 8 and this is really cool because it has a couple of cool features that even the normal nova launcher does not have now first off this is the latest version of nova launcher which means that you will see a ui rehaul so when you click and go on your home screen you go to settings you will see a different section called style over here where basically it follows uh, the local wallpaper or the material you design when it comes to different wallpapers and different ways the phone reacts to certain colors basically what android introduced in android 12. now one good thing that i have absolutely loved about nova is the sheer amount of customization of options out there when you install it for the first time it might look pretty basic on your smartphone but quickly research about how to customize your nova launcher or watch the hundreds of videos that i have already made on this topic and you guys will realize how crazy you can take the customizations here everything from setting a custom icon pack reducing the icon size creating kwgt widgets setting up different gestures etc etc the customization options on nova just don't end with Nova 8, you get a couple of cool features. As I said, you've got this universal search bar now that lets you search anything you want. And you have the material you design interface. So everything automatically reacts to the wallpaper that you have, the accent colors of the app drawer, of folders, different things you can change that. And there are new left and right animations where if you swipe from the left of the screen or the right of the screen, you can trigger a certain action. However, they require Nova Launcher Prime, which by the way is one of the most affordable launchers that you can buy right now. But uh, yeah, even the free version has a lot of features that uh, you know you'll never be over. I've been using this launcher for a little over four to five years now, I think. I've tried a bunch of launchers, obviously, but I keep coming back to it because it's just so nostalgic and so easy to use and, you know, customize to a higher degree. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, these were my top five Android launchers that you should definitely try out in 2023. All the links will be in the description below. If you guys did enjoy this video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. This is Anubhav signing out. I'll catch you guys next time. You guys have a great day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.